Hello everyone, this is Julia. Thank you so much for joining me on my craft room adventures. Today I have a brand new challenge a crafty friend card to share with you, and this time the challenge was window. So I created a trifold window card that has a surprise scene for the recipient on the inside using lawn fawn stamps and dies. I hope you really like this one. So I started out by ink blending a card base. I used the back of an A2 sized card base um, and I'm using Twisted Citron and Mode Lawn and also the Hillside uh, Stencils by Lawn Fawn. I added splatters of the same color of ink, just diluted the oxides with some water to add some splatters and I also made sure to cover the top of the panel so that none of the splatters would end up on there. Then I'm using the cloudy stencil from Lawn Fawn and I'm ink blending the sky with tumbled glass and salty ocean. Just using the salty ocean very sparingly, but I did want to add a little bit more of a shade there uh, than just the tumbled glass. So just adding a tiny bit, basically what is left on my brush of the salty ocean was just a really nice addition. just rotating the stencil as I go to create different cloud looks. And I left the other side of my stencil on there to basically cover the grass part. And now I'm adding splatters of the liquid pixie dust by Lawn Fawn. I die cut the four square backdrop portrait out of another note card that will be the other side of my trifold card and I used the brick stencil with just a little bit of pumice stone ink to create a little bit of brick wall to go behind my desk. For my stamped images I used the Just My Type and the Dandy Day stamp set and also some butterflies from Butterfly Kisses and I needed to have the backs of some of my images showing through the window so I used uh, a mirror stamping technique to create the mirror image of my stamps. I didn't film this, but if you want to see how I did it, uh, previously I made a uh, baby card with some elephants on it. I will link to it down below and there I, will show, uh, I show in de detail how I mirror stamp my images if you're interested. For my desk I'm using some toner grays. My darkest shade is the T5, then I'm blending that out with T3, T2 and T0. Uh, I don't own the T1 just yet. I wanted to get it, but it was sold out. So to get an even nicer transition, I do want to eventually get the T1 as well. But I like the toner grays because it's more of a neutral gray. It's not warm, it's not bluish, it's just gray. Now I'm using the T3 as my darkest shade for the drawers, blending that out with T2 and then with T0. Going in with the second layer of the T5, just to deepen everything up. Just going over everything so that it's nice and blended. For my typewriter, I also did the mirror stamping and also for the desk lamp. I made sure to not ink up the uh, the keys on the typewriter because on the back you wouldn't see those. And I'm just using some BG13 and BG11 to get like a little teal shade going on my images didn't want them to be too dark so usually I would also use the BG49 but since I wanted to keep them uh, pretty easy coloring and pre pretty light I used the BG13 and the BG11 to color them in. Just making sure everything is nice and blended. Just 
just going on with the second layer of the BG11. For my light bulbs, I'm using Y11 and Y000, and for the purplish parts, the heart and the main part of my typewriter, I'm using V01 and V000. And for the keys, I also use the same toner grays I used on the desk. And it was time to color the images for the inside of my scene. So I used E55, E53, E51 and E50 for my mice. Just placing down the E55 as my darkest shade wherever I want the shadows to be. Then I'm going in with E53, pulling out the color a little bit further and making sure that it gets I get a nice blend between the E55 and E53. And then blending that out further with the E51. And then finally blending everything together with the E50. I'm also using a light swipe of the E50 on the tummy of my mice. For my yellows, I'm using Y21, Y11, and Y00 just for the insides of the dandelions. Also using some W00 just to mimic the look of like the fluffs on the dandelion. And then for my greens, I'm using G17 as my darkest shade, G02 to blend that out, then G00 and G000, which is a nice cool tone green. I really like this combination. Blending that out with a GO2. And blending the GO2 out with a G00. And now finally the G000 to blend everything together. Here we go, that's the uh, front of my card that I die cut with the Foursquare backdrop. And this is the way the card will go together. I used partial die cutting so that it makes sure it doesn't cut off part of the edge. And since I will be adding those two cards together, I cut off a slither of uh, each of the sides of the cloud panel and also of the other side so that they would fold nicely together and there would be no bulk. I also die cut a second panel of the Foursquare backdrop that will cover the acetate on the inside just to have a finished edge there. I cut a slither off of that as well so that the card would close nicely. I cut down a piece of acetate and I'm just using some liquid glue to add that down. Just placing the window frame down, trying not to smear the part that will be shown in the window just pressing down firmly so that the glue wouldn't ooze out. I didn't put the glue down far enough, so I added a little bit down there as well. And now I'm just adding glue in the exact same places I did before, so that I could layer the inside of my window on there. so that it would like look nice and finished when you open up the card. 
making sure it's nicely aligned with the front of the window. And then it was time to create my trifold mechanism, or trifold card really. Just adding some tape runner to the inside of the panel that has the ink blending on it. This is the piece that we didn't cut down, and the other side that has the window cut out of it has a slither cut out of the right side. And now I'm just aligning the cards and pressing down firmly, just to adhere everything together. And that creates my trifold card, and there you can see the sky shows through the window. Now it's time to add my images. First I needed to adhere the mirror images onto the images that would be on the front. Only the top part of the desk would be showing the desk lamp and the typewriter, so I just made sure to mirror those. And I added the, uh, the desk, the desk lamp, and the typewriter with liquid glue. And I made sure to place no adhesive uh, on the window part, just basically adhering them to the desk. So they're only adhered at the bottom, but I haven't had any issues with it. I added a few foam squares to my mouse. And that's the front of our card done. Now it's time to decorate the inside scene, and there you can see the part that's showing through the window. I wanted to have a surprise inside scene, so I needed to make sure that all of the images are placed so that they're, that they're covered by other images. I thought that my scene could use a little bit more sparkle <laughs> as usual. So I just stamped out some of the dandelion bits and heat embossed that with glitter embossing powder. And off camera, I heat set the embossing powder. And I will be showing you in a minute how those turned out. Um, then I'm just adding the rest of my images with liquid glue. Checking back in with the window to make sure that nothing is peeking out too far. Playing around with a placement. I didn't have a ton of room to work with because I wanted to make sure that it's a surprise that it's hidden inside. But I think it turned out cute anyways. I also wanted to add some butterflies that would be visible when you looked out the window. So those are from Butterfly Kisses and I colored those previously from other projects and I just used them on this card. And I played around with a placement to make sure that they are visible and not covered by the frame. And then I'm just going to place them down using liquid glue. And there we go guys, that finishes up my card for today. Here you can see the pretty sparkle from the embossing powder dandelions. It's pretty hard to see the shape of them on camera, but in person you can tell that they're like little dandelion bits. And you can also see the light brick wall ink blending. And then you just open it up, you have the back of the window showing, and also have your little mice playing outside, having fun. And then you fold it again and you have a place to write your message for your recipient. I really had a ton of fun making this one. I will link to Lien's window challenge card down below. I'm sure hers will be amazing, so please go check her out. 
thank you so very much for watching. On screen, I will link to two more videos that may interest you. I hope I will see you next time for another crafty video. Have a wonderful day. Bye!